down and everything is closed like schools, park, libraries, everything. And you might think this is really boring and how do we use this time? So I have a perfect idea of using this time. I've, I've decided to make small projects during this lockdown using microbit. And now I'm going to tell you what a microbit is. Microbit is a pocket sized computer which can be programmed easily. It has 25 LEDs which we can make shapes and messages with. It has two input buttons A and B. If you press button A, you can make a smiley face. If you press button B, you can make a sad face. It has a reset button at the back so you can um, tidy up your program as well. It has a battery pack input you can put in and um, it can start. So it has accelerometer which detects the motion um, with X, Y, Z axis. It has a compass which detects your direction and where you're heading at. It has pins at the bottom like here and you can put external powers or control the motors with. It, and the final thing it has is Bluetooth. You can connect different micro bits with it. That's all it has. So now let's make a remote control car using two micro bits. So let's get right into it. Now I will tell you the components for this project. So first, we need some jumper wires for the connection. Then we need some crocodile pins to connect your micro bit to it. Two battery packs and some AAA um, AAA batteries. Two micro bit. One one USB cable. And a, and two servo motors. Servo motors are specially used widely in robotics projects, and um, they can, they control the position of something. Today I'm going to be using this servo motor to position my wheel. A box like this for your body and two wheels. So first we need the car body. Then we need to make cutouts for the on and off switch. Then we need a cutout for the micro bit so it can fit through and um, be connected to the crocodile pins. Then we need a cutout for the battery pack so it can fit through like this after that you need a cutout for the wheels so they can be connected to a servo motor now let's look at the inside of the car as you can see i've stuck the um six wall backpack firmly to the box this will be the main supply for our two servos, servo motors. The two wires coming out from the battery pack are positive and negative. These are going to go to the wagos that are stuck on the side. So the positive is going to go into the positive wago and the negative is going to go to the negative wago. Um, then um, there are three connections for the servo motors. Um, so there is a positive, negative and a signal connection. So the positive will go to the positive wago, the negative will go to the negative wago and the signal will simply go to the um, micro bit. And do the same for the other servo motor. And that now let's look at the connections from the, for the micro bit. So this is the signal 1 coming from motor 1. This is a signal 2 coming from motor 2 and this is the ground uh, power supply, this is the negative motor. Now it's connected to the microwave. So the pin, um, the signal 1 coming from motor 1 will go to 0. You can connect it to any pins from 0 to 2. This, um, the signal 2 will go to 1 and the negative crocodile pin will go to ground. These are all the connections for the car.
finished all the hardware guys and I'll tell you the software in part 2. So stay tuned. This is how the car will work after coding in the next part. video please make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell icon and i'll see you in my next video